Infamous tiger breeder and former roadside zoo owner Joseph Schreibvogel Maldonado Passage, a.k.a. Joe Exotic, made headlines in fall 2018 when he was indicted by a federal grand jury on two counts of murder for hire. Those aren't the only charges Joe Exotic's facing. He's also accused of 19 wildlife violations, including violations of the Endangered Species Act. According to the November 7, 2018 indictment, in or around October 2017, Maldonado Passage anticipated the arrival of certain big cats that were to be boarded for a fee at the exotic animal park. Maldonado Passage needed empty cages to house the big cats. So Joe Exotic allegedly shot five healthy adult tigers to make room. So much for the claims by Joe Exotic's minions regarding his supposed dedication to his captives. Tigers and other big cats were nothing more than a business for Joe Exotic. They were a commodity, and their only value was monetary. If they weren't bringing in money, they were disposable, and he disposed of and stole the lives of five healthy animals. Tiger cubs were the real money makers for Joe Exotic. The indictment also alleges that tiger and lion cubs were illegally sold all across the country. It appears the sale of these cubs was what generated the money Joe Exotic needed to pay off his hired hitmen. According to a news article from NewsOK.com on 12-18-2018, in a legal filing on Friday, prosecutors revealed details of a secret recording made by an undercover agent during a meeting with Joe Exotic in December 2017. Prosecutors described the meeting as a discussion of how and where to murder the victim, Carol Baskin, the operator of a Florida animal sanctuary. During a discussion with the undercover agent about where the money for the hit would come from, Exotic said, I'll just sell a bunch of tigers. This was Joe Exotic's second attempt to hire a hitman to kill Baskin. The article also stated, Prosecutors believe Maldonado Passage sold a big cat cub for cash to make the $3,000 payment to the first hitman, according to another legal filing in the case. Joe Exotic passed around big cats like party favors so he could get away with murder. The murder of his biggest critic, Carol Baskin, who's been exposing his misdeeds against animals for years. Joe Exotic also harassed shark investigator Janet Enoch when she simply filmed his operation at a fair in Davenport, Iowa in 2016. And I'm going to ask you one more time to get away from my display or I'm going to file criminal charges on you. Joe Exotic's story is still unfolding, and we here at Shark hope it ends with him spending the rest of his life behind bars. In order to prevent other Joe Exotics from popping up in the world, please do not attend roadside zoos or big cat shows. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to see more of our investigations and learn what you can do to help shark help animals.